Good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you all for coming. Um, this is the first of the um, many companies. I think we have 13 or 14 companies scheduled to come in during this spring semester. And we have a uh, person who has been here even before I started. That's in 2003. Uh, I'll leave it up there for you for myself, but we haven't been here for a long period of supporting on this program. New company is Monumental Consulting Group. Eric. It's a small company, so small that it doesn't have a website yet. All right. Um, big difference from the other companies, which are huge companies. Uh, being a small company, they're going to know you. They're going to know exact, exactly where you need help, where you need some expertise. Where you're going to go set up a plan for you, good mentors. All right. Um, so listen carefully, especially those who are looking at co op opportunities and also graduate students who are applying to graduate at the end of this semester or next semester. Thank you very much for the food. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Dave, I give you Dave. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rambert. As Dr. Rambert told you too, I've been coming here. 2002, I think I started when Dr. Del Corp started the program here. Uh, I had worked with Dr. Ramroot uh, for a couple of years doing training you guys and working with you guys in CAD on the, on the Tuesday and Thursday yeah. night programs. Uh, you drive up here and do that with uh, some of the, you know, with a lot of those students that were coming. So I've got a lot of, a lot of time up here investing. Uh, it was with a former company, but uh, I wanted to continue that because I feel like you guys are the key to the future uh, for surveying and mapping, whether it be, you know, in the GIS program, whether it be standard surveying and mapping, uh, whether it be using drones, uh, it could be using a breast drill scan of, of, of whatever sort. So there's there's all avenues. I've, I have been through the small company setup. I've been through the mid-range company setup, and I've also been in the large companies. Uh, I've had major experience in, in all avenues. I was a managing partner in a medium to small company. And when we got bought out by the, the larger firm, I became just a number. Uh, didn't like it. And that was kind of, that's kind of what I wanted to kind of bring to the table today and talk to you guys about, have a little interaction if, if we could to try to push things along and uh, just kind of keep, just kind of get you guys understanding Number one, the difference between a large company and a small company. Number two, your pay, what you might be expecting, what you're looking for, what are your goals and, uh, for the future as, as you're progressing once you get your degree, you graduate and get your license. What are y'all's goals? What do you want to do? You know, do you want to be just a worker bee? Do you want to be an owner? Do you want to be a partner? Those are several avenues of the business, not just physically surveying that you want to you want to kind of start figuring out at this point in time because once you get out there then you're going to be starting to look at it to try to figure out where you want to go um you know and and this is the big thing small large small guys Probably can't pay you what what the uh, what the large guys can do, uh, but the difference between the large guys and the small guys, you, the small guys you're going to know the owner, you're going to know who they are, you're going to interact with them probably on a daily basis, and that that and that's a real good thing. You know they understand your personal life. They under, you know you you will end up talking to them about your personal things that are going on, not just business, and you will get to know the owner integral and you'll you'll understand him and understand where he's coming from you know most time with these large companies you never see the ceo he may he may come out when you know you get hired on or he may come out with a party that you got some of them may remember your name some of them may not you know those are things you look at and the bottom line is you're just a number to the large companies you that's all you are is a number to a small company you're an integral part of of their firm, and that's what that's what I like about it. I've always I always liked the smaller companies. When we got bought, when I got bought out by the large company, I absolutely hated them because they're driving metrics, they're driving numbers, 
And everything you do is based on a number of some sort, whether it's your number, whether it's the, the profit, the profit line, or you know what you're bringing in to bring into the table. On a small company, you can look at it and you can say, you know, you can let's say you bid a job and you bid it too too low. Well, you and the owner talk about it. There's an understanding that, you know, you're not going to get fired over. I mean, I would. I mean, I've, we've had several jobs like that that have been either bid too low or something's happened and in, in the in the scope of the project and you end up, you know, you talk to the owner about it or you talk to whoever the, the, your lead is and they're worked through. I mean, we we understand that. I mean, everybody everybody makes a mistake. You know, it's, every job's not just, you know, green and glory. So, I mean, those are those are some of the things that, uh, you know, that are the difference between a small and a large company. So it, it's very, it, and, and you know, part of it is, is you know everybody you're working with. One of the other aspects of that is you may be doing a boundary survey one day on a large, large track or a small track. The next day you may be on something else, or you may have three different things you're doing that day. You know, you may do an elevation certificate, you may do a small boundary survey. You may do a foundation survey. You may do an aspect. There's in a smaller company, you get the roundabout area, the roundabout projects, and you get to have your dabble your hands in all those projects. Whereas if you go to a large company, you're going to end up as a cat tech, party chief. You may be doing pipeline. That may be all you do. You know, you may be at a tech and working under a project manager. Always look at that and look at where your avenue is on where where you can progress in the company. You know, what are your aspirations for what you want to do with your career? Do you want to be you know, do you want to be signing boundary surveys from small surveys to large surveys, or do you want to be pigeonholed as a CAD tech with maybe you get get to be a project manager, maybe not, you know. Maybe you get to live up. Maybe you get to be one of those people that is out there talking. You know, when I when when I get into a larger company, I ended up being just a salesman. I absolutely hated. I had no control over the projects I brought in. Whereas before, I controlled the project from the beginning all the way to the end. The client calls me. They don't call the CAD tech or the project manager that's dealing with the job on a day to day day to day basis. I would. I was able to oversee every that every job that I that I brought in. I was able to oversee it from beginning to end, whether it be a lidar job, whether it be a, a transportation job with a route survey, whether it be a boundary survey. Uh, those I, I had control over. I was able to talk to the project manager, understand where we were at. I didn't have my hands on it every day, but I was able to look at it from a three thousand foot level. So, from a from a smaller company, you're able to transition through and do different jobs. With a larger company, you don't have that ability in most cases. If you want to move uh, around in the company, it, it gets kind of difficult because once they see that you're good at what you're doing, they don't want to move. They don't want you to go to another place. They want to keep you right there where you're at. And that's something that you guys need to look at, you guys need to think about. Now the larger companies, yeah, they're going to pay a lot more. You know, what are you looking at for for coming out? Do you want to be a worker bee? Do you want to just be there to to do what you know, do what they ask you to do, or do you want to have some control over your destiny? And that's something I always thought that I, you know, I've always wanted to have that control of some sort. When I was a managing partner with the company I was with, we had I had a lot of that control, and there was you know several others that did. You know that did as well, and but we also talked in amongst all the other project managers, so we could see where we're going. Right now, I started this. I started Monumental Consulting Group a year and a half ago, back in October. Uh, the opportunity arose. I was able to buy the assets from a couple of different companies and combine them and create create this company. I didn't want my name on the company because I didn't want it to be set towards me. I wanted to create a company that would grow. And we could have the different facets of of uh, survey. 
whether it be a boundary survey, whether it be topo surveys, whether it be small, large. Eventually, I want to get to have those departments in the company and have multiple offices. Right now, I do have two offices, one in Bristol, Florida, one in Panama City. So I've got two offices and I need I need staff to be able to grow. And that's why I'm up here talking to you guys, because you guys, all you guys have been grounded. Every time I've come up here, you guys are grounded. You don't have a, a head on your shoulders and a chip on your chip on your shoulder to that. Hey, we know what we're doing. You guys and, and ladies, uh, all y'all are very good at what you do. You're very conscientious about everything that you guys do. I'm whenever, you know, we used to go to Florida and do their program. Not real impressed with those guys. You guys, I, I, I've been impressed every time I come in here and talk to you because y'all y'all are very grounded. So those that's why I'm up here and I'm talking to you because I know you guys are the future of me to take over whatever I'm doing. And it may be all of some of y'all, maybe none of y'all for this time. But that's what I'm looking for. I want to build, I want to build the business that I've got. And I want I want to have somebody to take it over. That's why I kind of named the company the way it was. So it would be ground, you know, it'd be grounded in uh, just a generic name where it can go from person to person to person or group to group to group. And that's kind of where it, that's why I call it a group, uh, just for that. Eventually, I want to open up another office uh, on the west side of uh, the state over around Pensacola, maybe Crestview or somewhere in there so I can, we can do that work. I want to get into the transportation work, that, and that's what I used to do. That's, that's what I like. I like the transportation side. The transportation department in Florida, they are looking for small businesses. They're constantly looking for it. Right now, we don't have enough of them to cover the work that's going on in the survey side. I've got a good rapport with all the guys in the transportation side. Of it. So that's where I can I can help, you know, I can help push the company forward into that direction, as well as doing larger topos, larger boundary surveys. We do I do a lot of sectional work. A little different than how Alabama works. Florida works off of legal descriptions. Alabama works off legal descriptions and occupation. We do a little bit, a, a little bit in that area because there is an art in surveying. It's not just straight out, you know, here's here's the numbers, here's the distances. And you guys have that, you guys have that knowledge that you're working on right now. You you that's part of that art. And then when you go to the field or you work in the office, either way. Myself, I'm out there every day. Uh, not not in the field every day, but I am. I'm in there. Uh, I'm there probably two days a week. I need to go to the field with my crew because I do have green crews, and I'm trying to train them up. Uh, staffing is very very hard to come by in the areas where we're at. So everybody, even the larger companies, I'm competing against those guys to get you guys in. What I can offer you guys is a <clears throat> is an ownership in the company as time progresses because I'm not going to be there forever. I want to pass it on to somebody or a group of people to make it to where it can, they can survive and then tell them. Uh, so that that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, you know, again, with the larger companies, you know, <clears throat> do you want to be a number? You know, what do you want? You know, what, what do you want? Do you have any idea? Do you like the small companies? And and that's you know that's one thing about a small company is you know we may not have the websites like the big guys do we don't have all the recruiting I mean I'm I'm doing CAD myself every day uh, because we I don't number one I don't have the staff and number two you've got to look at your budget you know how many are doing a, a minor in business nobody I'm surprised uh, you know because that is part of part of Part of getting the job is understanding the business side of it. And I, I know we've had I've had several, we've had several employees uh, in the prior company that had the minor in business. They understood how to work that. Uh, so hey, um, when you were here, um, the perfect number was a major with a minor. It is not a program, so they, they are not required to do a minor. But it's right. in that you can choose business classes with the general studies club. So, but um, we made before that it's very smart to learn that you get more people in. Right. So I, I know we do have one or two students who are in a geographical, where the 
drone man. But we do have a list business with business man. But it's because it's not required and not going to do it. Okay. And that's fair. That, that's absolutely fair. Uh, you know, and, and you know, one thing you got to look at when you are talking with these, these large companies, even the small guys, uh, with the larger companies, you can probably, number, like I said, you can get paid more. You'll probably get a lot of overtime. With the smaller guys, you're probably going to work 40 hours a week because the owner is trying to minimize the cost. Uh, and then there's, there's also a point there where you may start getting a bunch of overtime because the owner's not not ready to hire additional staff. So you may have four or five months and you may work a bunch of overtime. Right now I've got my guys working in overtime right now because we're we got the work, but we're low, I'm low on the staff. So I'm trying to pick that up and, and the way to juggle that. And and this it all comes in the business side of it. You know, you look at it and you figure, okay, if I hire somebody, it's gonna cost me this. If I have the guys work a little more, it's gonna cost me cost me this. So you, you weigh that out, look at it. And, you know, there is a time where it's better just to just to have the guys work another five or ten hours a week. You know, and it, and it also and it comes out to where you end up a little more profit sometimes, sometimes not. You know, so those are things that you know. Those are some of the things I I, I was wanting to talk to you about, give you some insight uh, from from a perspective that I've been in uh, over the last. 39 years. I mean, I, I start when I started surveying, I was straight out of high school. I had no idea. I just I wanted to, I got a job. Well, within about a year of my of me working, I realized this is what I want to do. And this is what I wanted to make my career. And I looked at the owner of the company, which is a very I I was highly respected him. Uh man a few words, but he he uh when he talked to me, it was like kind of like you know, but uh but Looked at him about a year and a half in, and I said, I want to be that guy. Well, what I figured out is, okay, I started surveying before 1987 in Florida. So that gave me the ability to actually go after uh, a survey license. Number two, I was like, okay, if I'm going to do this, I got to go back to college. God, did I regret, did I not like that? But I did. I, I, I knew I had to. So I ended up getting a two year degree in, sur in surveying and, and uh, mapping or survey technology, I think they call it, uh, from Valencia Community College down, down in Central Florida, the state of Florida. And from there, uh, that gave me the opportunity to start moving up. I was able to, you know, started, uh, you know, I, I got opportunities with this small company. So I, moved, I was able to move around from an eye guy, you know, from a Rodman to an eye guy up to a party chief. Uh, went from party chief back down to an eye guy, I think it was. <laughs> and then when I came back to the to the company that I've been with originally, they put me in as a as a CAD guy because they were needing a CAD guy. I I knew absolutely nothing about computers at the time, but they were willing to train me. That's where the small guys are willing to do. They're willing to work with you and and train you because they know they know that. You need to know all aspects of the job, not just you're a marketing guy or you're, you know, you're a cab tech or you're a party chief. They're not going to pigeonhole you into that. I've got a, I've got a guy that doesn't have a license. He's been in it 25 years. He can, he can run a crew. He can do CAD. Uh, he can work on. He can do topos. I generally take those over because I know they're very complex. And I, I, I'm very meticulous about what I do, but he bounces in and out right now. He's working. He works outside two days a week, two to three days a week, and then in, he's inside the other the rest of the time. So, I mean, he's got the opportunity of both worlds. The guys I've got that uh, that are green, they're, they're coming along. They're learning. They want to learn. I mean, they came out of high school. They got them a job uh, with me. Yeah, some of them have some personal issues, but they talk to me about it. Believe me, it, my job is not just business all the time. I've got to get personal with my staff because if I'm not, I don't understand what they're going through to know that to know what I need to do on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, and it may be just the fact that hey, there ain't no heat in the house last night. Okay, no problem. Hang out in the office for a little bit, warm up, feel good. 
you know, and go from there. Or hey, we didn't, you know, we didn't, you know, whatever it could be. We, I mean, there's there's a lot of personal issues that people have that we as an owner, we look at the we I look at those things, and and most owners do, and they, and they will work with you on that. Whereas again, if you're in a big company, if you're out of day because of something. Oh, well, there's a check mark on your number, not your name, but your number. And that's something. And, and you know, they look at the metrics on that. If you're not doing what you're going to do, you're gone. I mean, the company, I, the, the large company we had, I was one of those guys. They were looking at my metrics. They didn't understand the dynamics in Florida and how things work. They wanted to do it on their, their way from where they were from. So they didn't understand that. And I tried to explain it to them, plus it didn't like a no one. They wanted much yes people. I'll, I'll, I'll digress on that one. Uh, but, you know, they looked at my metrics and what was going on. And they they like, well, that's not working. And another guy that's been there, I think, 15 years. His metrics weren't working either. They can't him. You know, if there's no loyalty in a, in a large company. In a smaller company, there's a lot of loyalty. There's a lot of respect. You know, I'm not somebody who's going to come in there and I'm not going to yell at you. I'm not going to degrade, degrade you. Uh, that's something I'm, you know, I, I want to work with you. I want to give you constructive criticism. I want to, you know, have you learning every day. I mean, I've been in the business now 39 years. There's not a day go by that I don't, even now. Uh, there, there's issues with jobs that I look at five years ago that I've done, and I'm like, hey, I'll do, I might do it different even now, but, you know, because there's the art of surveying, and it is a, it is truly an art, and it's the way the legal descriptions are written, that you've got to look at every part of it to be able to bring those jobs together. And that's where if you're well-rounded, you you have a good understanding about, about what, what a job, you know, what, what a survey is. How, how to how to draft it up, you know, how you want to do. And everybody has their own style in drafting, you know. And I like to let that that style show through their draft. Uh, when you get into large companies, they have everything cookie cut. They want you to do it this way, this way, and this way. You don't get your you don't get to use that part that you and that's one thing that, that I think a smaller company and, and you can bring a lot to the table for a smaller company. Because they are, uh, they they give you the ability to to shine on your on your own your own product that you're doing, and 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 you know one thing with a small company is if you have a disagreement on how you think a job should be a, a boundary or a tovo or whatever should be done, you can talk to the owner about it. You can y'all can actually have a. a some people call it an argument. I like to call it a conversation. It can get heated, but that's not a bad thing. I mean, when when you start, when you see the different, you know, because you get a different eye perspective. And if you if you don't, and you you look at it from one direction, and and you get somebody dictating that direction, you don't learn, you don't grow. And that's you know, in a large company, they're going to dictate everything that you do. And some of these large companies are no better than a small, a small mortgage company that is not really good. You know, I like to find all the section corners when I'm doing section work. Some of these companies, they'll find a couple and they'll cap the rest in. But it is what it is. You know, those are things you've got to look at when you when you're going to work with a company. Ask to look at their look at their surveys. Ask to look at the look at what they're doing. You know. And see if it meets the, your standard, you know. And if you haven't, you know, look look at those standards and, and think about how you want to do things. Because if you set your standards low, your quality of your product is going to be low, and the quality of your survey is going to be low. You guys have good theory. I mean, the theory that you guys have is very good. Now to apply it, that's a whole other that's a whole other animal. And you want somebody like me. And I can name off a dozen guys, and probably half of them have been up here uh, talking to you because I know a lot, a lot of that will be that are good mentors. But again, if you're in a bigger company, you're not going to see those mentors. 
you're going to see the guy that's below them or maybe the guy that's below that. Whereas at a small company, you'll be able to have a mentor. And it may be the owner, it may be the owner and a project manager. Generally, you will see both. You won't see just one. And you'll know both of them by first name. And you'll know how they, how they are. And you'll know their, their mannerisms. You'll know if they're mad. you know if they're happy. And it, it's just a daily interaction. You know, and, and those are things that that I like, and that I feel like are are good, good for your growth, good for the company, whatever company you're with. And I'm not here selling my company. I am, but I'm not. But I, I want you guys to think of and give you give you some food for thought, for as as you're growing, as you're in the survey survey uh, field. How many have had survey were surveying before they came in? Who we are? Y'all planning on going back to where y'all were? Y'all were from? Oh, <laughs> and, th and that's fine. I mean, some people that that you know they've got a place to go back to, and and you know some people don't know where they want to go. Some of these larger companies, some of you guys may want to get into them and figure out where you want to go, and th and that's not a bad thing. And then then you can go back and look at, okay, what do I want to do now? You know, it. it because nine times out of ten, in, in a larger company, you won't you won't get to where the CEO is. You got to work your way up there, and you may never get there. You know, there's there's a level in these larger companies that you you, you want to get to, but you can't. And that's where the smaller companies give that opportunity. Now, one thing in a small company, look and see who who runs it, and do they have people set up in line later on down the road? You know, that's something because they may have family set up and you may not have that opportunity to grow only to a point in the company. Now, if it's just one a, a, a man like me, you know, you do have the opportunity to own the company in, you know, five, 10, 15 years, you know, after getting out. For me, it'd be less than 15, somewhere between five and 10. Uh, but I want I want to have the right staff in the right place in the right offices. I also want to grow that as well. That and that's where I I feel like I can bring a lot to the table to to you guys as well as uh, some of the some of the former grads that are that are out there working now. And and I'm assuming this is how the grads can look at this too. Yeah. So there you know there there's several avenues of. of of look see at this and like I say we back 15 years ago we had a guy who came born for us he had a minor in business he ended up leaving the, we had a downturn in the economy back in LA he left the company and he's now running it running he's he's used his business degree to do something else not even surveying at all and it's been a while since I've talked to him but he keeps enjoying everything that he's doing he's actually in the financial field now and, and absolutely love it, uh, but there are there's there's people out there that you know want to do certain things. There's some people that want to do a little bit of everything. I want that guy that wants to do a little bit of everything, not just work in the field, but work in the office, manage a job, oversee a job, you know, and and work with work with staff that's going to be under you know. Uh, you know right now, I'm looking for some for some, several people for in my city office. Uh, but, and I'm also looking forward for some in the Bristol office. I'll do a co-op any day. Uh, anytime you guys are, are free, I'll, I'll be more than happy to talk. We can talk afterward. I can get you my information. I'd be more than happy to do a co-op, whether it be spring, whether it be summer. Um, you know, and you you'll come, you know, you'll go to it, you'll look at it. And we don't, you know, most of the smaller guys, no, they don't have the latest and greatest equipment. You know, but they do have, they should have decent data collectors. They should have decent equipment that they're working with. May not be the newest, but it'll give you the understanding of what, what they're doing. You know, all the jobs that I do is their own state plan. That way I can take any job that I do, whether it be sectional or whether it be a boundary survey, I can overlay it on in my, in any CAD program and see what I've done next to it. Uh, the, the biggest thing for doing state, uh, state plane on sectional work is you can build off of that. Every section you do, if you, if you can start tying everything together, you don't have to do this section, this section, this section. 
you can do this one, you can actually skip one. And it's not that, you know, it's just, and it all depends on where the jobs come from. But if you get these two, you have the section in between, you know, and you know exactly where it's at because it's all on state plan. Everything we do is at ABD 88 as well. So it's been a while. Uh, and we're we're working towards get going into the new new data when it comes out, and you know understanding the tr the transformation from eighty eight to the new data. So the, and those are things you guys can help some of the older the older generation guys do uh, in the smaller companies. The bigger companies they got programs I'm sure that will automatically take that and just move it over and get it where it's supposed to be on horizontal and vertical. You know, smaller guys, they're going to need some help. I'll need some help because, you know, you've got all these jobs. You know, as you do them, you're going to transfer them over. You're not going to do them all and just move, move them into that thing. But, you know, look at, look at what the, the small company is doing. Do they, have a, do they have a server set up or are they just doing it, you know, by, by CDs or, or something like that? That was one of the first things I did when I bought the company. The, the, with the assets that the... The prior people had, they didn't have any server set up. They didn't have anything on in one area. And that was the first thing I did. I did that, upgraded some computers. This year, my goal is to upgrade our GPS units to some of the newer equipment, upgrade our trucks. You know, those, those are goals that I have. I, you know, me being an owner, I want to show, I want to have our first foot forward or best foot forward. Uh, so that way we can, you know, we can shine. Uh, I've done, you know, myself, I've done multiple, road, multiple, many roadway projects throughout the Panhandle and through and over in District 2, which is over in Jacksonville area. I've done a lot of roadway projects. I've done a lot of sexual stuff. I've done a lot. I've done uh, probably 20 and 38, 20 and 30,000 acre job, uh, boundary jobs. And that's breaking down multiple sections. That's breaking down multiple townships. Uh, I've, I've many years of that. Uh, I, I actually cut my teeth on doing large boundaries down in the south part of the state of Florida and doing multiple ranches. So I, I mean, I enjoyed what I did when I started. It, and I didn't see it until you know five years later. Look back at it and go, wow, that was a fun, that was actually some of the funner jobs to do. Because you're in the, I was in the woods all all the time. You know, I was, you know, yeah, I was walking through swamps, but most of them pristine, clean, and clear. You know, you very rarely until you, unless you got around town, you know, you didn't get into some nasty ones. And I have been in some bad ones. Uh, believe me, I've been up to here, and uh, it's it's not fun, but it's it's part of the job. It, it's part of it's part of having, you know, part of that day. You can look at it. You may not like it when it's 32 degrees and you're off chest deep in, in water, but uh, you can look back at it and laugh and say, hey, I did that, you know. And, and with a smaller company, you get that ability, you know. You can go buy a job, at, you know, with, with a smaller company, you can go buy a job saying, I did that job. You know, when you're with a bigger job, you may never see that job ever again, especially if you're traveling. And a lot of them will have you travel. Whereas in a smaller company, they're gonna keep you in one spot. And that's, that's something, Something to think about. Again, I want to. I'm trying to give you guys food for thought, so that way when you do go out there and you do your co-ops, you do do different ones. Don't just go back to the same one every year. Go around, check check other firms out, and and again, I'll be more happy to take take a couple of y'all on. Um, it's it's something I think everybody needs to see. They need they y'all need to see the whole gamut of, of the survey field. Not just, you know, not just a large company and they can't. They're going to ship you wherever they want you, not where you want. You may, you may get lucky and you, you may say, hey, I want to go to Denver. You know, oh, yeah, we got an officer. Yeah, we got an opening. OK, you might get lucky, but they may they may send you up, up to New York, you know, if, if they've got an office up there in New York. So look at that. You know, where do you want to go? Where Where is your final destination? You know. I wish I could tell you I could give you the beaches and everything else, but you know we're close. Uh, but we're we're not. You know, we do work on the beach occasionally. Uh, we do get, we get the fun. We get the sand. Sometimes it gets in places where you don't want. But, you know, it's uh, you know that that's kind of 
kind of what I was going to kind of pull to you. Yeah, even like there with the software and the hardware you have. I mean, I was setting up trucks. I mean, I've got I've got five five crew trucks is what I've got. At this time, three of them are in use. The other two, they I I'd love to have them be in use, but I mean it's just it's the manpower. That's the biggest thing. Software we're using. I'm using the Leica software. I've got Leica, Leica hardware, and we use the Leica software. We also, if we're running AutoCAD uh, I'm, this year, again, that's one of my goals. I'm going to get some market. I'm going to get upgrade our AutoCAD. I'm going to upgrade our market station. Yeah, I'm I'm using old school. Dr. Ramsey has some. He'll laugh at this, but I'm using 2004 Ooh. in AutoCAD. I'm way back, way back, but it's some that, that was actually the last AutoCAD that I utilized. So I'm very comfortable with. When I bought the company, that's what they had. Uh, I didn't have the ability to upgrade again. This year I, I plan on getting two subscriptions of AutoCAD, upgrading, getting all our templates all set up. Uh, you know, and and because I want to be at the forefront, I want to be able to work with the engineers. And the engineers, they want the newer programs. They want the, the newer AutoCAD. They want the newer microstation. Uh, inroad, not Georgia deals with inroads. Florida deals with a new version of microstation, which is uh, open roads, I believe. So I, I am going to be getting at least place one license of that. And I am going to get two licenses, two subscriptions of AutoCAD. Can't buy it. You got to buy it by subscription. No, you can't buy it by GMC, which uh, is they're they you know the, the software companies figured out how to make money. So you know you got to have the subscription to keep keep your stuff going. But that is something I'm going to do upgrade with a small company. Again, you don't have the newest stuff, but you try to stay up with it as much as you can. Uh, you know, and and I that's. You know, when when you have a new when you have a new company starting out, you gotta you gotta use what you can get your hands on, what you can afford. Uh, and but we are we are you know we are I plan on moving forward because that is that is the key to keeping the company going is to have newer newer programs, newer software, newer hardware. Uh, I've got a couple of guns and a Bluetooth, so and we use uh, TDS for our data collection, and we use Carlson's. Right now, I'm I'm in limbo. I've got two Carlson units that are keypad punched. I want to keep those. So I want to upgrade them, and I can't because the new Carlson comes out on a pad. The pads are great if you're sitting in the room like this. They work fine. They work phenomenal. But I've heard so many of my buddies tell me, "Don't get the pad," and you get get a keypad, get a you know get a Spectra Ranger, get something like that that's got a keypad on it. Because the problem is when they're out there in the daytime, heat, cold, it affects that screen. Just like on your phone, that heat and the cold will affect that screen. Water droplets on it will affect the screen. Those are things. I mean, somebody can have the. I mean, there's several companies. Some of the large companies. Yeah, we got the latest, greatest. We got Tremble. We got. Whatever the pad is that they're they're working off of, but they're all having issues. There. They they've got links. Those big companies have links where you can download your data every day. You know, to to whoever it may be that, that's taking it, moving it, massaging it, putting in the jobs for everybody. The pads don't always work like they should, um, and a lot of their links that they got that that make stuff move back and forth work. They'll tell that they got it. But don't expect it always to work. Uh, whereas company like us, we're smaller. We're going to download every night at the office. You're going to be home every night. Uh, in most cases, very rarely would I have you off working unless we end up <laughs> later on down the road. You might, but it's not going to be far. Um, I will give everybody the ability to come home every night because I know what it's like to be gone. And that's something that you got to look for quality of life. On your personal side, you know, I play hard, but I work hard too. Uh, my day starts generally about four thirty in the morning, uh, and this is because of lack of help. My day starts at seven, about four thirty in the morning. I'm at the office by six, 
five thirty, six o'clock. Five thirty, actually. And I don't leave the office generally until about seven every evening. Uh, but I am the owner. I've got to take care of that stuff. That's and again, I'm looking for help to help take some of that strain off of me. I'm looking for you know people that are they're willing, they're wanting to grow, wanting to learn, and I'm, I'm looking for people that uh, want to be a part of something long term. So give them an idea where you put in the package. You know, for if you're looking for driving it, and also for students who are looking to go to some of the right now. And again, this this you're going to have two different aspects, large and small. Large company can give you a lot of benefits. They can give you a 401k for you know, even for the summertime that you're there. They can give you, you know, they'll give you all the paid holidays. They'll give you sick time. They'll give you, you know, rain time. There's some things I can do. They'll give you health care even in that in that period of time that you're there. Some will. Uh, there's some things I can do, and there's some things I can't do. And again, that's this is a small to large company's comparison. Right now, I don't I don't have enough staff that wants health insurance, so I don't I don't provide health insurance. Uh, I don't have you know if I had more if I had staff that was looking for it, I, I would I would be able to do it. Uh, so, but most of the staff they're either. Again, I've got some young guys that are in the field, so some of them are still on their parents insurance uh and several of our others their are older spouses insurance so we don't i don't offer offer that i do get paid holidays for the six major holidays that we have uh i occasion you know i i do bonuses at the end of the year it's not performance based it's okay do we make any money at the end and by at the end of the year uh, because of tax purposes i need to get rid of some of it so guess what if we make money you're going to get a piece of it uh, whereas these large companies, they're looking at metrics again. Okay, what did you bring in? What did you not bring in? You know, were you what were, did you work a lot? You know, or how what were your what was your absentee rate? You know, they're gonna look at all that maybe if they give you a bonus. Some companies don't even do that, especially in the larger side. Smaller guys are gonna give you, but you're gonna get a better bonus out of the smaller guys, and you're gonna get a lot more personal thought process into that bonus if you do get one. Uh, Again, uh, we do we do the major holidays. Don't have any health insurance or, or dental. Um, and I look at every day when somebody's there or not there. I want to understand why. And is there something I can do with that one? I had a guy that cracked on us a few weeks back. Part of really good guy. He literally had a mental breakdown, not on the job, but he was at home. Uh, and he had some personal issues that I did not know about. And that was something that I wish I knew because I was pushing him a little bit harder than some of the other guys uh, because I knew he could do it. And he knew he could do it, but he had he had he had some personal issues that made it to where he, he hasn't been back. And I had the ability, the ability to talk to him. I talked to his wife and we we now understood what the issue was and i've been able to i have texted him back and forth and he, he has responded and i think the gentleman will come back but again those are you know those are things that i did didn't know he had and that that's where i wish i did sometimes sometimes guys will talk to you some got times they won't they'll keep things in most of my guys will talk to me and tell me what's going on and if not if i hear it through the grapevine i'll, I'll ask him about it so again, yeah, guys, let's go. So talk to me. That's all I need. And and we can, you know, we can work, we can work through a lot if, if the communication is there. And I don't look at it as an employee employer. I look at it as as if we're taking this company and we're we're working together as a team to move ahead. Whereas in a larger company, they look at it as employer employee, and there's a definite we don't have an HR, by the way, so you know you can get away with a lot more in a smaller company that that has no HR than a larger company that does have an HR. So you compare your company with a larger company. <clears throat> Do you go for this project that a large company will form? I will chase a large project in a heartbeat. I did my first proposal in County 
for their for their uh, survey contract uh, just three weeks ago, and they were they they couldn't believe I was committed. You know, because they know my size, they know who I am, and I will always portray the company larger than what it actually is. Most small, you have to. If you don't, you won't get those jobs. They'll look at you and go, eh, "I don't think you can do it." I mean, I've got a, I've got one that we just got. Uh, it's a 400, 400 acre boundary survey that we're going to end up cutting it up and creating a subdivision out of it. And we're not doing an actual subdivision because of the renewals in the county. They're allowing us because it's 10 acres or larger. We do meet some bounds on it, but we've got to do an overall boundary of the overall to be able to make that small. So those are things, you know, I, I portray to the, the client that we, we can do it. And he's he's taking on it. Any questions, guys? Because I know we're getting to the time where I got I can't hang out with you anymore. You can hang out with you afternoon here, you know? <laughs> I used to enjoy it. We used to spend the afternoon with you guys and do a whole lot of things. Not so much anymore. How many bites is still in there? One. One. That's why that's why I need back then. I need guys and, and you don't have to be licensed right now. You can you know you can be working towards that. Part of that is your responsible charge that you get, that you're gonna need to get to that point. Because I'm looking for I'm looking for partners and people that are gonna Take me, take the business on after I leave. Buy me out, and, and be at be at that level. Whereas a lot of the company, you don't have that ability. You may get, you may be an ESOP or something like that. But again, you know, where where is that threshold that you can go to? You know, always look at that. Ask them, and they'll they'll give you, they'll tell you the moon. But chances are, see who's been there, see the length of times. Ask them what their what their turnover rate is. You know, in the company we had, our turnover rate was very, very low. Once that large company bought us out, our turnover rate to, went to almost 60%, which is, was unreal. We were at like 15, 20% turnover rate. And most of what turned over was our high guys in a rod, everybody else didn't turn over. But we moved guys around and moved guys up into different levels, so it worked out real well. In a large company, ask them what their turnover rate is. You know, most of the time, it's going to be over 50% because they, you know, they hire and they fire based on their jobs. If they don't get a, a big contract, somebody's leaving. Believe me. If I don't get a big contract, I'm looking elsewhere. I'm retaining every guy I can retain because that is key to keeping the company. I give them an idea about the in temporary accommodation for them. summer co-ops. Summer co-ops. I've got a place in Fort St. Joe that I can, you can stay at. Uh, you might catch me there on the weekends with you, <laughs> uh, but I've got a place there. And if if you want, you can live with me. I got plenty of room finance. <laughs> you don't have you don't have to go to a hotel. I won't put you in a hotel. You'll get home cooking from my wife. And if you want to be by yourself at the beach, have at it. I I've got no problem. But I can do summer co-ops at either at either either place. Uh, and you're looking for two? I'm looking for at least two. Um, for, for definitely from something. And like I say, our, we've got, we're, every time I turn around, the economy is slow right now, but I want to get, I want to get building. Uh, I want, I'm, I'm building because I think things are going to definitely turn around. Florida's not getting hurt as much with, with what's going on right now. But I think by the end of next year, I think that you're going to turn around drastically. And, you're going to see a, a big uptick in, in the survey. Any more questions? And I can't believe I did this for 50 minutes. <laughs> David, appreciate it very much. Tim has a call pad that you're going to get to us. We'll have it out to the table. Um, thank you very much. And CSL, big company versus a small company. All right, you'll have to also offer it to sell all the company in time. So a lot of you I know ask why to have your own business. Hey, company might be interested in it. All right, yeah,
Appreciate it. Yeah, I'll, I'll come right back. Up. You can go down there and grab those and I'll bring them. Okay. Up.